Cinnamon, star anise, and ginger are my favorite warm winter spices. Today I'm making a spiked iced soy chai that I'm gonna use some spiced rum in. First, I'm gonna show you how to make your own chai tea. We're gonna start with some water, a little bit of fresh sliced ginger, green cardamom pods. This is an essential in what we consider chai tea. Actually, chai just means tea. What we're used to, that nice, warm, spicy tea, is actually chai masala. Now we're adding some star anise or anise. This gives it that great licorice flavor. And finally, the cinnamon sticks. We're just gonna bring this up to a simmer and let it go for about 10 minutes. The longer you let it steep, the stronger it's gonna be. My spices have been simmering for 10 minutes, so I'm gonna take it off the heat and bring it right over to my French press. In my French press, I already have loose black tea, so I'll let that steep for about four minutes. We made our chai tea from scratch, but you can take a shortcut and use store-bought tea bags like we did here, and we're gonna strain this out right into our pitcher full of ice. Next, we're gonna add our spiced rum. Don't try to swap out a silver rum or a light rum for this recipe. The spiced rum is really important. It goes along with those great warm winter spices. Then we're gonna add our vanilla soy, and then I'm gonna garnish our pitcher with some fresh orange peel. Now we just pour this right over ice, and you've got a delicious cocktail for the winter time to keep you warm, but actually all year long, this works. back with our series can't miss summer and we are beating the heat with refreshing drinks so here to help us is a member of our own today show family yeah we're so excited about this katie Stilo is our culinary producer she works behind the scenes prepping all of the food segments you see on the air she also gets us the talent ready for all these segments she's so amazing this morning she's making batch cocktails for all of our guests at holiday gatherings katie good morning good morning she's a morning. legend this is yeah. a legend right here and Wait, her you, drinks are so good quickly yeah, okay. follow her on instagram but also quickly tell the story your name wasn't stilo until this week yeah so for about the last 28 years i've been saying katie stilo but it turns out my trip to italy the last few weeks i went to my where my family is from in italy it's called stilo so this is my oh, official oh, rebrand so i love it my okay. name i am yes. katie stilo so i'm stilo <laughs> yes and so still very cool um, yes. so katie look I, I have a fear of this too it's like you make one cocktail for someone you feel fine you make a batch for a lot of people it's like do i got the recipe it right it can be intimidating for yeah. sure but there's a couple do's and don'ts before we get into making the cocktails first mm -hmm. things first don't add ice to your pitcher oh. i know my seem like you want to chill your drink down but chill your drink in the fridge and then when you're ready to serve pour it over ice like these so we have some cubes okay. over here we have some pineapple juice that i froze with oh, raspberries cool. i have some white cranberry juice with strawberries and some blueberries this way when your cocktail melts it'll add flavor instead of adding water oh, which is okay, great so there's no water in these exactly it's awesome. just um juices so the sugar content okay to freeze Perfect. over here we're talking about practical garnishes and also think seasonal when you're making your cocktails okay if you're not sure what's in season head to the farmer's mm. market talk to the farmers ask them what's around yeah cherries good right so good all over italy now as you know it's the, the summer of italy everyone on mm -hmm. instagram is there including yeah. jacob and myself so you we're gonna rub that in a little bit can we go a little spicy too here or what's yeah going so on? if you want to rim your glass with a little bit of we have some tahini we have some chili powder we have some ground ginger it has this a nice little touch the right? first one's a mocktail yeah okay. so you can make a bunch of different um simple syrups for your guests i have a strawberry basil a cherry Ooh. lime and a warm um, vanilla spice which is great add a little bit of uh club soda over top and your guests can make it as sweet or as not sweet as they'd like wow so it's great for little yeah. kids or non-alcoholic people who would like to it's always good to have a mocktail because when you don't want to drink people are asking why aren't you drinking yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. they don't know it's exactly yeah. secret. Yeah. look out for that peer pressure <laughs> look out for that peer pressure tom, tom. are you hiding something yeah i know right so yeah, my first drink i'm calling the crowd pleaser because everyone loves a glass of sangria when you go to a barbecue oh, so yes, in best. here i have some 
stone fruits instead of your typical apples and oranges. Mm. I have some apricots, I have some cherries, I have some peaches, I'm adding a lot of wine. Uh, my, mom, <laughs> my mom who's watching this at home will be like, that's my girl, and that's true. But not just white, right? Not, no, only white wine. Oh, and we're going to sweeten white. this with the syrup from Amarena cherries. Oh, yes. Yeah, so it really that bumps that wine. cherry okay. flavor. They're wild cherries that grow in the Bologna region of Italy. Is and that they come easy packed to find syrup. anywhere? You can find them all over New York okay. and all over the world. You can get them on Amazon. It smells amazing. Yeah. And what so was that last step? A little bit of lime juice. The acidity okay. helps cut the syrup. Give this a stir. Let it sit overnight because the fruit is the best part of sangria. Yeah. When you get a little boozy bite, guys, guys try so this one. Take a sip. This yeah. is in there. This is and these are the cherries if you want to take a bite. This is so good. You want one? I'm off mock Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. This is delicious. Drinking on the job. And here. it's okay. sweet, but not mm. sweet. Yes. If Next up, this sense. cocktail is inspired by okay. one of my favorite restaurants in New York, Res Dora. Chef okay. Stefano Secchi comes on the show all the time. Mm -hmm. We love him here. Um, I had a cocktail at the restaurant. It's called the Romagna in New York, which plays on the fact that the Lambrusco is from the Romagna region of Italy. Okay. Um, I learned a lot. Okay. Wow. She brought it back. Yeah, she was here two back. weeks. You yeah. retained it. That's exactly. The, that's the good part. Um, so in here, I have some gin. I'm going to add some lemon juice. I'm going to add some lime juice. And this is a, definitely a stronger one. And I like okay. that I'm using a mason jar here because it's a batch cocktail, but. You only need a little bit for these cocktails. Okay. So this is great to store in your fridge, which is okay. nice. I'm adding some grappa. Yes, I know oh. that's Ooh, a Ooh, grappa's like a... That, that's strong. Trust me. Like a, okay. Is grappa for dessert, traditionally? Yeah, it's like an aperitivo. Yeah, yeah. Uh, helps digest stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you want to call it that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to add a little rose water. brings out the herbal flavor in the gin. And then I made a really strong ginger simple syrup. So you mix this up. Let this sit in the fridge Ooh, for about okay. an hour or two. And then the showstopper portion of this Ooh. is you just top it with a little bit of rambrusco. And oh. it layers over top. Oh. Oh, because look the how base, beautiful that is. Yeah, it's so beautiful. So, so thank you, Stefano, for the so inspiration. So it's less dense, yeah. so it rises to the Correct. top. What's I the think garnish? It's like a little candied rose petal from oh uh, Anthony Catrino oh, and my you. wonderful assistant, huh? Nam. They made those for me. Oh Real quick, we're almost out of time. What do we have here? Because this one looks awesome. This one is, is Anthony, you want to say it? you drink it? Arancha Rush. I can't really say it that well. But it's a bourbon-based cocktail, so it's my take on the gold rush. Oh, Craig's missing out. I know. So a little bit of orange juice, a little bit of honey simple syrup, orange honey simple syrup, a little bit of orange liqueur, and then a little bit of lime juice to cut it and you're all set poured over ice and a little bit of candy so good oh can i say cheers this to stilo yeah yeah i'll cheers to that <laughs> there you go <laughs> cheers and i'm cheers. off to mocktails this i'm back the on the stock drink i've so ever good. seen it's too, so right? good thank you so thank much thank you much katie for these okay. recipes head to today.com slash food today i am making a rosemary pomegranate spritzer which is a delicious cocktail or mocktail pitcher drink perfect for entertaining this holiday season. First, I'm gonna show you how to seed a pomegranate in 30 seconds. I'm gonna score the outside of this all the way around with my sharp knife, and then I'm gonna use my thumbs to break it apart. I'm gonna take one half of this over top of a nice deep bowl, and I'm gonna use a hard spoon and knock all the seeds out. I like to fill the ice trays pretty much halfway with the pomegranate seeds because it gives a nice red color to our pitcher drink, and into the freezer they go. So now we're gonna assemble our pitcher drink. First, I'm gonna slice my lime nice and thin. All right, right into the pitcher with the limes. Next, I'm gonna add my rosemary to the pitcher. Just breaking it up a little bit, moving those leaves around just a little bit in my fingers to release the flavors and aroma. So now we're making this a cocktail using vodka. You can also use gin if you prefer, and you can make it a mocktail and completely skip the alcohol altogether. One cup of vodka. Next is our club soda and ginger ale. I'm going to fill my glasses with the pomegranate ice cubes. I'm going to add a sprig of rosemary to each glass, and then I'm going to fill them up. So you see it makes for a beautiful centerpiece or a delicious drink. 